Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This is a video in my declutter series. I have filmed this in 2017 so I know it's not going up before 2018 but this is the intro for every video so if you have seen before that's why I have used the same intro for every video. And a main thing in this declutter series is that I'm not getting rid of a lot but I have accumulated a big bag that I have now given to friends and family and my three cousins really really loved it and my mom and my aunt actually got some too. So I have a bit left and that is the items that is that are too dark for my friends and family. So I just need to find the right person and give it to her but they will not be counted in my makeup inventory that I am going to do after the series. Um, and if you want a makeup collection tour or setup or something, please let me know down below. So yeah, this is my declutter series. I hope you enjoy and please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on all of the videos I have planned out. And yeah, please like, comment and subscribe and then I will see you next time. Bye guys! So this is my first video of my declutters and in this box I have face primers, foundation and concealers and I do have some foundation mixes. I don't know how much I'm going to get rid of but I think I said that in the intro but that's just because I really love my makeup and I rather want to use it than declutter it but I know it's time because I have so much stuff and I know some of my cousins and friends and family, you know, uh, can get better use out of it than me. So I only have five primers, but that is only because I just finished two. I have my Nivea Men Sensitive Aftershave Balm. I'm going to use this up as the first thing in 2018. I have my only pore minimizing primer from W7. My next Angel Girl, I just fell in love with. My Stay Matte Primer is brand new and the same with my Max Factor Face Finish here I just got as a present from my best friend. I'm going through my primer so it's not that I'm hoarding those. So I'm going to keep them all. So this is all my foundation. I don't know what I'm going to get rid of because I really love them all. This is my all time fave so I'm not going to get rid of that one. I'm panning this one. This one I haven't tried yet, so I'm going to pan this one next year. This one is way too light for me, but it is a great mixer and it's great, great, great to have because it's paler than pale. And this one matches me. This is kind of too dark. This is matching me. This is matching me in the summer. I love these one as well. I just want to keep them because I love them. Um, I haven't used these just because they are too dark. So I'm going to get rid of this one and this one because they are so yellow and so dark that I'm not going to use them. I'm getting rid of two foundations. It's not a lot, but I really, really love my foundations. I do go through them rather quickly and because I'm changing a lot from summer to winter, I am using both of these in the half year and I'm halfway gone with these two. This is the W7 Very Vegan HD Foundation and it's so good. I really, really love that one. Oh my god, I'm getting anxious just to think about it, but I really need to get rid of these. This is going in the maybe pile and then we will talk a, lot, uh, a bit after this video, I think. Yeah. So I'm going to keep my Rimmel London Match Perfection Foundation, my Maybelline Dream Satin Liquid, my Rimmel London Lasting Finish, my W7 Face Fantasy, Foundations in the lightest and medium shade, my uh, vegan foundation from W7, my W7 Genius Fill the Light Foundation, my W7 HD, my W7 It's a Mad Made in Heaven foundation. Keep 10 out of 13. It's not that good, but it is a process. Then I have these two. This is my The Body Shop Lightening Drops Shade Adjusting Drops thingy that I use for my foundation. I haven't really used them lately just because I have a very uh, great range of foundations. So 
So I really don't need them right now, but I love them and I'm not going to get rid of them because I'm just so pale and there's so many foundation that is a snitch too dark for me. But I did get rid of the those foundations that is way way too dark for me that I need like half a bottle of these to match me. So so these are kind of my characters. There's a character in here and here and then this one. I'm not going to get rid I'm not going to get rid of any of them because I'm planning this one right now and I love this concealer palette. I'm not going to get rid of any of them because I'm planning this one right now and I love this concealer palette. So I'm going to keep this one. This is the, it's all W7 by the way. It is my W7 got it covered concealer palette. And this is like a dupe for the matte one. I love 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 this one. There are some concealers that is too dark for me right here, but I do love these two shades up here and the corrector shades. I'm going to use this medium shade in this summer um, but I really like these for coming up my eyebrows and spot concealing. It is the W7 Glow Concealers. They are so so great and they are coming in fair light and medium and they are just amazing. And then these ones. I'm getting this one because this is the like highlighting pencil. It's a shimmer one. I think I'm going to keep this one as well. I'm not really a fan of these, but I do like the light one in occasionally. So I'm getting rid of these two darker ones. Then liquid concealers. I got these in my advent calendars. One is a concealer and one is a foundation. So I really don't know which is which because there is no name on it or anything. I have some cousins that would like to try out concealer and foundation. I love these concealers. I'm not. <laughs> I don't want to get rid of anything. I'm. I'm keeping this collection last in perfection one because I'm planning this one. Love my Mac Pro Longwear concealer. Um, Fit Me is brand new from Maybelline. My W7 Saved by the Dior foundation. No concealer. I'm doing that all the time. Foundation and concealer. I really really enjoy this one. I'm not a mess fan of the concealers from W7. I'm not going to get rid of this one. I'm not doing that good, but I really like testing out concealers. You know what? I'm going to get rid of this one and the foundation as well. I'm just not... no. No? I'm going with you guys to this one. I'm keeping four concealers for the liquid version at least. And then these concealers because I really really like these. So this is everything that I'm keeping. It's not looking like much. But I did get rid of these items in here. And that is kind of a lot in my opinion. Um, I really didn't think I was going to get rid of that foundation but I am. Um, and I just got these and I'm not even curious for what foundation and concealer it is. Yeah. I'm going to get well of these and hopefully my cousins and friends want to try these. And my issue is that a lot of my friends is the same skin tone as me. So I don't know who I'm going to get these. But I'll find out. I'll find out.